So you spilled some water, you spilled some coffee, you spilled a soda on your computer. Do not worry. I'm going to show you what you can do to fix this. Don't panic. The first thing is to shut off the computer or unplug it from the wall if it's a laptop. For next thing you want to do is to turn it upside down. Grab a paper towel, napkin or, or towel and just dab it on the keyboard and try and get rid of as much moisture as you can, as much water as you can or liquid as you can. While it's, leave it upside down until you're sure that it's dry. Do not turn it on under no circumstances until you're sure that it's dry. Remove the battery. If it has a removable battery, remove the battery. If it is a MacBook like this one, grab a screwdriver or some tool and try and take out the screwdriver if you have the, try and take out the battery if you have the technical know-how and you have the, the tools. Do not microwave. If it is a phone or a small laptop, do not try and put it in the microwave. That is not going to, that is just going to damage it even further. If you have spilled something sugary or maybe some syrup that it is not going to be removed by a paper towel, then take it to a, to a pro. If you have a hair dryer or a heat gun, while the computer is upside down, you can try and use the hair dryer and just run it along the length of the keyboard for a good 15 to 20 minutes on the lowest setting possible, on the lowest heat setting possible, or if you, or if your, your dryer has a setting that does not produce any heat, then use that. If you're going to be using a heat gun please make sure that you pay attention to the keys the keys can the keys on the keyboard can easily melt because these are all made out of plastic so or you can get uh, compressed air from like a Walgreens, Walgreens or Walmart or um, CVS or some other place that has a that have cans of co compressed air you can use the compressed air to try and dry up your computer if you have the ability and you are, please take out the hard drive. If you also have the tools, you can try and take out the logic board and, and dry it out. I uh, hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, if it has been helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.